Hi, you're with Chandeep Chhabra at Goodly, and in this video, I'm going to talk about target charts. Not just talk about target charts, but also share with you that how can you make a target chart. So we have two different types of target target charts here. Uh, in the first one, we have uh, when the target is common for all values. Uh, that means is the target is same, which is 120, and everyone who has not achieved the target is marked in red, and everyone else who has achieved the target is marked in gray. So let's see how can we draw this uh, type of a target chart. I'm just going to hop over to the exercise sheet where I have all the data right up here. If you just take a look at the data, we have uh, the name of the salesman, we have the sales that he or she has made, and what is the common target that is uh, common for all. Right, so uh, let's quickly make that chart. But before we start making that chart, let's just first take a look at what is it that we would need in terms of values to make that kind of a chart. So I'm just gonna go back here. And uh, if you just take a look at here, I would need, uh, you know, like a line here that defines that what my target is, right? Then I would need to highlight uh, the values with, that have met the targets differently uh, as compared to the values that have not met the target. So these are the values that have not met the target. They have to be highlighted in red. And the values that have met the targets, they have to be not to be really highlighted uh, and the color of that is gray. The first one is a line and then uh, two different highlighting factors for the targets that are met and the targets that are not met. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a heading here, line for uh, target. Right, and I'm just gonna just take the target from here. So lock that, drag it down. Since the target is gonna be the same for all, so I just have uh, the same values everywhere. This is going to make sure that this is a straight line. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna need is uh, values that have met the targets. Just gonna write a formula. If the sales is greater or equals to the target, then please give me the value of sales, otherwise give me NA. Now NA is something that uh, is omitted in the chart in case you do not have a value. So wherever you find an NA, that would not appear in the chart at all, right? So all these values have met the targets. My target was 122. Susie was, was not meeting the target since the sales was 120 and the targets were 122, right? So these are targets met. Well, same formatting, I'm just, uh, just doing it here. Right, now I'm gonna find out the targets that have not met. Right, so how do I do that? So I will say equals to if target is uh, greater than the sales, then give me the sales, otherwise give me any. Right. All right, so wherever my target is more than my sales, uh, this is going to give me an NA, otherwise it's going to give me the value of the sales. Now remember these are the targets which are not met and these are the targets which are met. Now that we have the data, let's just try and create a chart. So I'm going to pick up all these values, uh, use the shortcut Alt F1 to make a chart and I get the chart right up here. Uh, then I'm going to pick up these values, press Ctrl C to copy and then paste it right up here. Just delete the title. We'll Oops, just delete the title here and we will have our own title. All right, so we have this. Next, I'm just going to plot the line here for um, on the, the target. So I'm just going to copy all these values, Control C to copy, and then you select the chart and paste it. And uh, the gray ones are the targets, but you don't want it in a, in a form of a column chart, you want it in a form of a line chart. So right click on this and go to change series chart type, and then pick up a line for this. Click on OK, and you have this line. Now this line is uh, way too dark. Weight of the line is uh, about 2.14. I'm going to reduce it back to about 1.5, right? And I'm just going to also add a label. Now the label is going to be added for every point, but I don't want to do that. I just want to add label for the last point. So I select the last label 
and right click on that and say add the data labels which is 122 all right so that's that's my chart now i have to make sure that this is colored as gray because i don't want to highlight the people who have met the targets i want to highlight the people who have not met the targets right so now if i change the target which was 122 to let's say 135 so oh, nobody so let's say 140 or let's say 145 right so there are two more people who have not met the targets right the target shifts up and you have two more people who have not met the target so i just want to make sure that the gap between these is equal so i will right click on this format data series Okay, so we'll just make the series overlap as 100% so that uh, there is no extra gapping between these column charts. Right, now it's fine. So that was the first type of a chart and you can just format a little bit uh, more and this is going to be absolutely fine. Right, the other thing that uh, we forgot to do was uh, we forgot to add names of the salesmen here. So I'll right click here, go to select data option, uh, edit the horizontal axis here and then pick up the names here right up here. Click on OK and I've got the names here as well. All right. So that's the way you make a target chart where the target is common for all the values. Stay tuned to the next video. In the next video, I am going to be showing you that how can you make a target where the target is not common for all values. So let's say uh, for Adam, the target was uh, 196 and he did not meet that and he fell short nine of that target. Similarly, you have different targets for different values. I'm going to talk about that. How can you make this type of a chart? Coming up in the next video, stay tuned, take care, thank you, bye-bye.